is as diverse as ever. Incorporating styles, materials, and designs from around the world is, build, is key to building a strong brand. Here to tell us more about her brand, Adore, and her participation at Phoenix Fashion Week is emerging designer Saba Iqbal. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me here. So good to have you. And I, I noticed you're wearing one of your own fashions today. It's beautiful. Oh, thank Could you tell you. us a little bit about the shirt you're wearing? Yeah, this is actually part of our, um, our uh, ready-to-wear collection. So mm -hmm. it's just a silk tunic mm -hmm. printed with the, with the brooch. And you can actually just wear it with, with a blazer or just... I just, love it. You know, casually. Definitely. And you're so young. I mean, what, what made you decide to go into fashion? Um, honestly, that's a, it's, it's kind of an interesting story. I was really influenced by my parents, um, inspired by my parents, especially my mom. She's mm -hmm. a designer herself. Ooh. So growing up, um, I really saw her like working in her store and running her own business, and it had a really big impact on me. And um, growing up in a family where there was a lot of emphasis on art, design, it just, art just really resonated with me. Before I got into the fashion industry, I was working for an IT company, and my heart just wasn't there. Mm -hmm. right. And so um, I just knew fashion was something that I wanted to pursue. Well, of course, it's something that's been in your family for a long time. It's, it's easy to see why you would be influenced by that. Yeah. And so you, you mentioned that the clothes are made in Pakistan, and yes. you work with artisans from there. So tell us what that process is yeah, like. Yeah, um, our Adore products are made in Pakistan by local artisans there. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a special story behind it. I was in um, Pakistan. I made a trip to Pakistan last year, and I was really fascinated by the... Uh, embroideries of the local artisans. It's actually, it's immensely intricate work. It can take up to three artisans wow. one week to embroider one gown. It's very, very detail-oriented work. But I was really saddened to see that they had such um, low wages, mm -hmm. the working conditions, and uh, just really no, opportunity, no, no opportunities for growth. Right. So I wanted to bridge this gap. And uh, sustainable business practices are a big part of how we do business. Of course. I think consumers today are really, uh, they really care, <coughs> excuse me, they really care about who makes their product, where it's coming from, and uh, how it impacts other people. Definitely. And yeah. I think that's, that's wonderful. That's well, absolutely and it. And go ahead. Um, and, you know, we see one of your casual tunics right here, which is gorgeous. Thank you. I mean, you'd, you hate to use the word casual. Mm -hmm. And then what do we have? What do we see on this model over here? Oh, this is part of our couture line. So it's actually a black uh, French chiffon dress. It has antique silver embroidery Beautiful. Um, in floral patterns. And um, uh, yeah, so it's, it's more of the couture, perfect for like the, the holidays, New Year's Eve party, or just an yeah. evening, evening out. It's gorgeous. How many artisans would it take to make something like this? Probably two artisans and maybe a week to make this. It's a team effort. And, and going yeah. back to what you said about you know, the business practices, I think that it, you really see it in the product when the internal workings of it are just as beautiful as the outside of it. Oh, yeah. And that's really the heart yeah. of mm -hmm. the business. And you were selected as an emerging designer by Phoenix Fashion, right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I was actually elected as an emerging designer for Phoenix Fashion Week. Very exciting opportunity, um, working with some very talented group of people, yeah. both in Phoenix Fashion Week, th their team, and other uh, designers. So how can our viewers vote for you? Yeah. I mean, we see these amazing things, and I'm like, I want to vote. <laughs> yeah, actually, so uh, there's 13 designers total. I'm one of them, and we're all competing for the Designer of the Year mm -hmm. a title. Um, really what you have to do is you have to be at the event. I think they're going to be having live voting. Okay. So cool. I am going to, my runway is going to be uh, Saturday, October 4th. Okay. I'm showcasing my, I'm debuting my uh, spring and summer 2015 collection. Excellent. On that day. And if you're there, you can vote. But if you, if not, um, we are actually extending uh, invitation to the Tucson community. Ooh. Uh, we'd love to get the Tucson community out there. And um, if you go to our Facebook page, uh -huh. you can actually see a post in which we're giving away three tickets. Oh, really? That's cool. And people can comment and, and what, should, what should they say? Should they say why they want to go or what? Exactly. Okay. So they can just post like, you know, uh, you know, th this is why I should get selected. And we're going to pick three people, three winners to come out to the event. I think that's wonderful. And do you also design for men? Because I know that uh, the men's fashion, I love Pakistani men's fashion. Honestly, oh. I've seen it. 
And I'm like, I would honestly wear some of these things. So do you design those or will you ever? You know what? Um, never say never. Uh, so <laughs> far, no, we don't have men's, but you never know. Definitely. You could have inspired her. <laughs> I totally Now you have. might go home and draw <laughs> something. Oh and for our viewers that are maybe wondering why Pakistan, can you tell us more about that? Um, sure. Well, I was, uh, I, that's actually my uh, heritage. Yeah, so my parents are originally from Pakistan. And um, it's just a, a cause close to my heart in terms of, you know, I really, f the, the, the illiteracy rate in Pakistan is about 58%. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge number. Mm -hmm. it is. And um, it's just uh, something that we need to overcome. And I think uh, through a door. And we through can this brand. So this brand is beautiful, and we wish you the best of luck. Yeah, I know you're going to go far with this, and I think you're going to win. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming Saba's on. Saba's brand, Adore, will be launching October 4th at the Talking Stick Resort in Scottsdale during. Phoenix Fashion Week. For more info, you can call 714-747-7501 or visit adore.com.